And let me tell you, students in particular, if you don't discover what you believe, you will be washed away by culture. You'll get washed away in college. We've got to know what we believe because the culture of the United States is no longer, oh yeah, it is washing things away, trying to. Of course, you can't wash away the truth, but to be able to wash and blow things away. So we need to know what we believe. So let me give you a couple things. Just you won't have time to write these down fast enough, but I want to just give you a couple things to know what we believe. When you seek things out of knowing what you believe, it makes a huge difference. Why do I believe in creation? Give you a couple reasons. Well, the sun's 93 million miles away. It's 11 thousand plus degrees Fahrenheit on the surface of the sun, but somehow the earth is in the perfect position that it arrives here on an average of 72 degrees. Houston, Texas, an average of 102 degrees, but we can at least live here. 50 degrees more, 50 degrees less, we're going to burn up or we're going to freeze out. The earth rotates at a thousand miles an hour. Did you know we're spinning at a thousand miles an hour right now? If you were to slow it down by 100 miles an hour, it would either freeze up or burn up. The earth's crust is like an apple's skin in relation to the earth, just a thin, thin skin. If it was 10 feet thicker, the available oxygen would be oxidized and taken out and we couldn't breathe. The moon is 240,000 miles away. If it was one-fifth, 20% closer, the tides would cover the continents twice a day. Isn't it perfectly placed where we are? So why do I believe in creation? Because I know what I believe and I can see it backed up in these things. Why do I believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Because some say that there was 200 prophecies. Others say 400 prophecies in the Old Testament. Let me just give you a few. Virgin birth. All these have Old Testament scriptures along with it. Virgin birth. Born in Abraham's line of the tribe of Judah, of the house of David. Born in Bethlehem. He'd cleanse the temple. He would be rejected. His hands and feet would be pierced. His side would be pierced. Take into account that the side being pierced and the hands and feet being pierced was before crucifixion was even invented. It was prophesied in the Old Testament. I could go on and on and on and on. If you were to take eight prophecies for one person to fulfill eight prophecies, I gave you nine, one with extra measure. I gave you nine. For one person to fulfill eight prophecies, it would be a one in 100 million billion chance. Now, what's 100 million billion? I, who knows, right? Well, let me tell you. Be like if you were to put tiles one and a half inches of a square, and you were to tile all of the dry land on earth, and you were to pick out one. That's what it'd be. Just throw a dart and hit the right one. Jesus is the Son of God. God is the Creator. Why should we believe in the resurrection? Well, we should believe it because the tomb's empty, produce the body, and Christianity's over. Nobody could produce the body. He also appeared after his resurrection to over 515 people. Hallucinations don't happen in groups. He was alive, and he was showing, why do I believe in Jesus Christ? Because he's changed my life. That's another reason. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.